how did you get into acting? My grandmother, I was like a kid actor. I was like doing local theater, I was homeschooled. My mom was like, please find an extracurricular and um, make some friends. So I started doing theater and then my so grandmother- So she kind of shoved you out because you were homeschooled. She wanted you to get out and have a community. And I was like an introvert. And gotcha. they were like, ooh, this is bad for her. So then my grandmother who loved acting, she was she did her own like theater thing. And, um, and she was like, oh, you're gonna be a great actress. We're gonna mm -hmm. move to LA, we'll find you an agent. With your gram? Yeah, but that's amazing. I, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. And even to this day, she's like the most proud she could ever be. But, you know, I think it was it was like, um, I don't know. She felt this sort of intuition, which is great, because it really could have worked out not so good for me. But um, here I am. Well, she still had somebody acting. there to like literally look out for you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, thank God. I was like 10 years old. I yes. mean, otherwise, it would be a bad situation. Our team said that your dad is a restaurateur. What kind mm -hmm. of restaurant? He's so sweet. Um, yeah, so he's like the only sort of uh, restaurant in their little six stoplight town. It's called Rhino's. What kind of food is your dad's specialty? Is he great at it's barbecue like, or grilling or it's just like a, a little bit of everything? It's like a bar and grill. He can't cook. He cannot cook. Your he's dad is a restaurateur and he can't cook? He's like a businessman. <laughs> <laughs> he's so I know, hilarious. I know. He's so sweet. But he oh. works really hard. He's been keeping this thing up, I think, since I was born. And it's like not easy. I mean, I think and he a works. And it's six town, yeah. He works like a 20 hour day. I mean, I thought entertainment industry was hard. I was like, I worked 15 hours today. And my grandmother will be like, well, your father's been slaving away <laughs> in the restaurant. <laughs> Unloading trucks and I slave know. beer. I don't want to hear it. Exactly. I agree. There's no sympathy in restaurant families. Do you cook at all? I do. Oh, yay. Yeah. What do you love to cook? I like to cook. I'm sort of like an Italian meal girl, even though I'm yes. not Italian in, Who in any way. Everybody could be an Italian. But what? That's what I want. But what I like about it is it's easy to you can cook it and then you can put it in the fridge and yes. it's like the best to warm up throughout the week. So I do like a lasagna or I'll do like a rigatoni or I'll do like um I love like a, a yeah I know right come on come on when you come back we get to cook then please we'll put you, we'll put anybody in the please. kitchen. Thank you so much to Brett. For the People is on Thursday nights at 10 p.m., of course, on ABC.